Completely unexpected, 43-year-old Chadwick Boseman died last week of a colon cancer illness which was unknown among fans. The King T'Challa actor leaves a great legacy in Hollywood, especially because of his legendary acting skills, since even in the middle of the treatment phase of his disease, the actor did not shy away from continuing to stand in front of the camera. Bozeman celebrated his breakthrough in his role as baseball legend Jackie Robinson in the film 42. However, he only achieved worldwide fame later through the role of T'Challa in Black Panther and the Avengers films. Meanwhile, Marvel released a touching commemorative video which not only features numerous behind-the-scenes footage, but also interviews with Black Panther director Ryan Coogler, fellow MCU members Lupita Nyong'o, Michael B. Jordan, Chris Evans, Robert Downey Jr. and Marvel boss Kevin Feige. In general, the sad news has caused a lot of sympathy, not only in the fan community, but especially among acting colleagues and other stars. The names range from The Rock, Jamie Foxx, to ex-president Barack Obama. The latter reminds us on Twitter of a meeting with Bozeman at the White House when he was playing Jackie Robinson. Terry Crews, Hal Berry, Oprah Winfrey and many other celebrities of the black community also honored his life's work. Major League Baseball also honored the actor by saying that by playing Jackie Robinson in the movie 42, he played a timeless role that will outlive future generations. Dune is probably one of the few Hollywood productions that'll probably be released in the cinemas this year. But before we can finally expect a trailer for Dune on September 9th, we have to be content with the newly released photos. The magazine Empire offers in its September issue five scene pictures and three potential magazine covers of this science fiction blockbuster. The perhaps most interesting cover shows us a first look at the giant sandworms that colonized the planet in Dune. On another cover, we see some members of the House Atreides, more precisely the protagonist, Paul Atreides, his mother lady Jessica, his father Leto and the weapon master Gurney Halleck. Finally, the third cover shows Stilgar, his daughter Chani and the planetologist Liet Kynes. On the far right, you can also see Jason Momoa in his role as Duncan Idaho. But Empire Magazine reported that he's not one of the Fremen. In terms of content, the new adaption of the sci-fi novel of the same name by Frank Herbert is about the complicated story of the noble family trying to gain power over the desert planet Arrakis. However, after deception, the plan fails and Paul Atreides has to flee as a son of the family into the wasteland to build up an alliance with the nomadic tribes and push back the Galactic Emperor. Dune is expected to be released in cinemas on December 18th, 2020. Those who are already in the mood for a little foretaste can look forward to September 9th when the first trailer will finally be released. This week we have some news about Marvel and DC superhero movies. First of all, there is Ant-Man 3. In a conversation with series exam director, Peyton Reed teased that the third Ant-Man part would be much bigger than its two predecessors. Of course, Reed couldn't or didn't want to go into too much detail, but he's supposed to have a completely different template than in the first movies. Not so surprisingly, since Rick and Morty producer Jeff Loveness was hired to write the screenplay. An exact release date for Ant-Man 3 has not yet been announced. But the film will most likely be part of Phase 5 of the MCU. More superhero news are also announced for DC's Black Adam. In the past, many fans have often asked themselves in which universe the movie belongs to, as the whole thing has become a bit confusing since Joker and the Batman. Producer Hiram Garcia gave a surprising answer to the magazine Collider. He didn't announce an exact universe, but he did reveal that they wanted to expand the world with Black Adam and the Justice Society of America called JSA. Garcia was much more specific about Black Adam's arch enemy Shazam, which is said to exist in the same world since both logically draw their powers from one source. Black Adam is supposed to be released on December 22nd, 2021. After the production was paused in March, the production of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is back on track. Allegedly, it'll start next week in Georgia so that the filming can continue in October in the beautiful Czech capital Prague. It is hoped that the Disney Plus series with Anthony Mackie as Falcon and Sebastian Stan as Winter Soldier will be released this year as announced. Last but not least, there is some news about Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness. After numerous pandemic-related postponements, there are now reports that Doctor Strange 2 will already start shooting in November. One reason for this could be that the lockdown has played into the hands of new director Sam Raimi and author Michael Waldron. As both were hired relatively recently after director Scott Derrickson ended his collaboration with Marvel some time ago. The expected release date of Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness is March 25th, 2022.